Good morning everyone, welcome back to a week in the life of a PhD student. Uh, this week should be a bit of, a little bit interesting, I've got a couple of things to do, a couple of things on my agenda, so I'm going to try to share that with you. Uh, <laughs> right now I am a bit late as always, because I woke up an hour later than I wanted to, my body seems to be taking control of itself, because when I say yeah we could do it five hours, it's like nope, seven or eight, nothing less <laughs> than that, so um, yes, yeah, so I've just dressed feeling a bit swanky today so I put on some clothes well I always put on a shirt, a dress, boots I don't know how this looks tell me in the comments, probably look crazy like but yeah, yeah, I'm mad hatter or something but yeah that's today we have a week in life of PSG student this week should be a bit interesting I have a meeting with my supervisor later today and then I'm supposed to give a speech at International Scholars Reception as well as do my work so if you're interested come along and see what it's gonna be like and I think I forgot my ID card, so it's gonna be a rough day in the office getting around. But I'm not gonna let that spoil our day. We're gonna conquer. Yeah, I'm tired because I decided to wear heels and it's like a 10 15 minute walk from the station. Yeah! Hi, so I just had to come outside to talk to y'all real quick because. So, you know that last video. Um, last week in life video where I was being featured on the Imperial Women at Imperial um, campaign and it's just released this week because this is International um, Women's Week and International Women's Day is this Friday and I didn't realize it was such a big thing or a big achievement to be profiled and recognized for it and I just feel a bit overwhelmed but so grateful to everybody that has sent telling me they're proud of me and congratulations and it's like all of the Imperial's Twitter feed and it's just it's, it feels nice to know that what I'm doing is being recognized but also that my work has some impacts so I'll drop a link below with the feature and you can tell me if you like it or not but I'm just a bit flustered and overwhelmed but so grateful at the same time So the meeting with my supervisor went well, she's quite happy to hear that I had a breakthrough with my work, she's quite pleased about that because um, although we had all these ideas it wasn't really gelling together but you would have seen my excitement when I realised I figured what out I'm going to do in a video so I'll link it above there with my little um, <laughs> my little excitement, my um, you, you, you become moment. <laughs> It's the end of day, Monday's finished, I'm about to leave, it is uh, just about after 8 and um, tomorrow I think I'm working from home and yeah today was pretty okay, pretty productive, started writing or drafting for a new chapter, uh, so that was good to have, nothing else interesting today besides my meeting actually, oh and the woman at Imperial recognition, but I will show you those posts as we go along. Lies actually. Um, while I was doing my work, I got an email from the outreach and welfare outreach team, and they were interested in having me speak to some teenage girls. Um, at please mind the door. This um, doors closing. This black woman in STEM going down. They were interested in having me speak at a black woman in STEM, uh, a black woman in STEM day or conference they're organizing for 10 to 10, 13 year old girls. Round so floor. that was really interesting. That that kind Doors of that resulted from the woman at Imperial Portrait. Mm -hmm. So if it does happen, that's pretty exciting for me. And um, yeah, especially as a Caribbean girl in London, it would be good to speak to these kids. Um, the lady when she reached out was like, yeah, we thought you'd be 
a good role model for these younger girls and would love if you could speak at our event and I was quite taken back because I was like me but yeah so that's just um, I guess a message to say trust yourself your purpose and always try to do the best of whatever you're doing hello hello good morning uh, today is Wednesday I am off I'm on my way to uni. Have on lipstick today because I'm giving a speech at the International Students Scholars Reception. So I'm speaking as a Commonwealth Scholar, and uh, yeah, I will try to show you that if I can. But right now I'm waiting on the train. Uh, as usual, we're behind time. Just because I've been working a lot more, like into two o'clock in the morning, and then my body's like, ah, oh, you cannot get up in four hours. Set the alarm for six and I wake up at 10, so I'm going. Ain't it a fun day when you got the home carriage boys? I'm supposed to have a meeting now with one of the master's students regarding her, um, her master's project. She's thinking about doing something along the lines of my research. So I'm gonna meet her now. Well, she's come here in time. And then after that, I'll print my speech for this evening. To be honest, I'm not feeling very productive today. I just feel. Last for words. So I am walking across main campus to Queen's Tower Room, where, which is where the reception is being held. Uh, just behind me is main entrance of Imperial, and now we're gonna go across the boardwalk onto Sherfield walk away where all the food is at but it's already close my time at imperial transitioned me from just an engineer wanting to make good use of my ideas and to help in terms of water resources to a researcher actively trying to find solutions to tackle global issues from a policy perspective arriving here as an international student can be very overwhelming and if you're like me where London itself is bigger than your entire country <laughs> you can feel pretty lost but the international student services and as sure by this reception itself um, makes a conscious effort to make us feel welcome and I think for us as international students we really appreciate that so thank you very much for the international students office. Today's Thursday, uh, the week is almost over. I'm working from home today uh, just because well, I'm saving some money on travel. Uh, but I often find it a bit um, good to just change up my environment every now and then. So, hello from me and my visit. <laughs> so, I'm working from home today, and what, am I, what I am doing is trying to work on this paper I've been forever working on. I need to wrap, up, wrap it up so that I can now go on to my next stages because if you watch my last video you know that I think I figured out what I'm going to be doing for my PhD so now it's a matter of getting down to business getting out to work so I'm going to draft up this paper that I'm doing I'm doing that by hand um, because for me my ideas I only do the finished product by typing these days because I find that Kind of have a bit more authenticity when I am handwriting my work. I did film a video on this but it was kind of a ramble so if you're interested in me doing a video on typing versus writing and some of the benefits that I see please give it a thumbs up and I will get that coming your way. All right let's go. I 
today is Saturday. I know you don't normally see me on a Saturday in these vlogs, but uh, I just thought I'll continue the week. As today I'm towards Little George Street. Street. I am going to practice for the flag bearer um, day. Yeah, so today I'm going to practice for the flag bearer to be a flag bearer for the Commonwealth Service, which is going to be on Monday. So I'm going to be carrying the flag for my country. Yeah. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, you know, putting my girl guides practice yeah as a girl guides into practice so yeah let's go do that once i could find my body that was exhausting i just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again uh, practicing to carry the flag but i'm going home now i'm so tired and hungry I need to find something to eat I forgot to sign out but I hope you enjoy this vlog and have a great day, night, morning and productive week whenever you're watching this.